Two LEGO Star Wars 2020 sets have been revealed today, and I'm honestly very surprised to see these, and I'm also honestly kind of disappointed in these. So we're going to take a look at both of them, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. First up, we have the Luke's Landspeeder, which is a decent looking model. Its set number is going to be 75271, and it's going to be $30 in the US, which is a little bit shocking to me. The last Luke's Landspeeder set 75173, I believe, was only $20. It included more minifigs than this. It didn't include the small side build, but the model was also a little bit less beefy. I don't know. I, I'm not seeing the trade-off here for $10 more, though, is all I'm saying. You do get a very nice new Luke Skywalker who has this very nice kind of uh, cape thing on him. It's definitely very movie accurate. We also have a nice little Jawa there, which, of course, isn't very cool because we got a Jawa hat on pack. And then we have C-3PO, which, you know, another C-3PO looks like it might be a slightly different print, slight variation from what we've had in the past. The little hut off to the side appears to be for the Jawa. It includes one of the Jawa's electric blaster things and also a little deserty plant. So not a bad build for the land speeder, I suppose. Again, the most shocking thing for me on this set is the price. $30 after the last one was 20 bucks and this one doesn't bring much change with less minifigs is just really, really surprising to me. I will say though, I like the chair design on the land speeder. I like that they've gone away from the flex tool but I think that changing it up is nice. Not that maybe using the stickers is particularly better on the front end of the land speeder, but we've had the flex tube design for like a decade, so something different is a nice change of pace. The other set we've had revealed, which I've talked about for a while on the channel, it's one of the rumors that I said was a rumor way back when, set 75270, Obi-Wan's hot, and this one is also kind of disappointing. We just get an old Obi-Wan with no leg print, like nothing special there, a Tusken Raider, a Luke Skywalker, and R2-D2. Basically, they've split up the minifigs from the last land speeder, put them into these two sets, and released them for $30 each, which I think is honestly a little bit of a rip. The set is very similar to what we've seen with the Octu Island set and Yoda's hut. They're kind of giving that $30 playset style feel, dollhouse style very very similar uh, concept for a set looks like you have a giant crate in there there's also the little thing that shoots at Luke it's like printed on a white little Lego minifigure head I think you have a nice hologram of Leia which I think is actually a Leia mold not just any old minifigure it's a little bit tough to tell because the picture isn't high enough quality but it does look like it's a princess Leia down there you basically have a very cramped interior with honestly like the best part of it might be the entrance on the back side of the set obviously we don't have a different angle of it but that does look kind of neat that they did make the entrance kind of drop down into it so it does feel like it's somewhat underground inside. I should quickly mention that you can completely close up the homestead here by closing the two side panels basically and then closing the topper piece which basically makes it one house or whatever you want to call it and then you can open it up when you want to access the interior. I thought that was obvious but I figured I should mention it anyway. But overall I'm moderately disappointed with these sets. Uh, 30 bucks each just feels really really pricey and honestly I can't say I'm surprised this is the way lego's been trending for a while now but let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below subscribe to the channel if you're new here i'll keep you guys updated on the latest lego star wars 2020 set news and i'll see you all in the next one peace out